By the end of this video, you'll know if you can take multiple blood pressure readings in a row. I'll tell you how many is ideal, and if you don't, why you can misdiagnose your blood pressure. Kevin Garcia, for more blood pressure videos like this one, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. Let's get right to it. Many people who monitor their blood pressure at home will turn the monitor on, measure their pressure once, and put the machine away until next time. Most of us don't follow the correct procedure or prepare properly for that reading. Should you be taking more than one reading? The answer is yes. The first reading is not enough, and it's often higher than the second reading. The most common reason why that happens is because because most people don't give themselves a true five minutes of quiet time and relaxation. And if you do this every time, all your measurements will be a list of higher readings, giving you the false notion your blood pressure is higher than what it really is. That alone can be stressful. So how many readings should you take? The American College of Cardiology recommends two to three measurements for a medical staff and for you at home. By the way, how many times does the nurse take your blood pressure? Two to three or once? Let me know by commenting down below. Two to three readings is ideal because it will minimize random errors and provide more accuracy. Now this is important. There should be one minute rest between the readings where you remain quiet, relaxed, and refrain from doing any activity which may put you at risk for raising your blood pressure. If you're wondering which home monitor I used in this video, it's the Welch Lens 1700, which I have a detailed unboxing and video review you can watch by clicking right here or the link down below. If you found any value in this video, click the thumbs up and I wish you and your loved ones the very best.